when I finished reading, I was really kind of almost uh, surprised at how much Michael had stayed with me through it all, you know. And uh, and I realized that actually he was just a very, he's just a very special character, a very um, determined guy, but is you know very, just very um, compromised all the way along, compromised um, by his situation, compromised by the um, the work that he's doing. Uh, for the for the Russian mob, essentially, compromised because of his family situation. Felix is the only thing, essentially, that um, that that Michael has in the world that that kind of that he feels kind of connected to, that he feels, um, you know, that he loves, simply, and uh, and and yet he Felix is just being constantly used as this toy, you know, uh, this kind of character to dangle in front of uh, Michael, to force him into to doing certain things. Michael is somebody who has a deep desire to, to be a father, to, to, um, to teach his son certain things but has a life that is, which means that he has totally, absolutely no control over that. Uh, and, uh, and, and no, 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 no way of really, of really being a proper father to his son. He's a tragic character. I think that he is, um, he has his own heroism, weirdly. I think that he is somebody that is actually kind of easy to relate to and, um, and therefore kind of carries that section of the story in a certain way and, uh, and we go on the journey with him. We understand when he's, when he's compromised and we feel the walls coming down around him. Gabe is kind of the the most mercurial of the bunch, in a way. He's Russell's brother, which uh, he's also himself an ex-cop, but his, him being Russell's brother means that there's a certain affinity, therefore, between Michael and Gabe, which the others don't have. And um, um, But he's also, he can be a bit of a liability. It's always great when you have a director like that who is... Uh, Talented and also incredibly personable and charismatic because, you know, it sort of affects everybody on the, on the on the cast and the crew and uh, and you really start to sort of build a kind of sense of family. What can you say about Kate Winslet? She's an incredible actress, um, a, an amazingly talented person and. Uh, I've rarely been so kind of moved and engaged by somebody in, you know, a rehearsal, just sitting around in uh, in the hotel reading bits of the, the script and feeling, you know, just so incredibly well prepared, extraordinarily well prepped, and um, and just uh, just generous with it, you know, ready to kind of give it all and to um, and to and to really get involved. With the team of the crew and you know and, and John Hillcoat, obviously, it just uh, just sort of capturing moments, you know, uh, uh, and it sort of just started to feel very organic and very sort of very easy, you know, and um, and I think that that's to do with really talented people. Every single person is not only incredibly talented as an as actors and have their own journeys as actors, like totally different journeys, just as people, you know. Um, but, uh, but are completely grounded and, you know, uh, completely thorough and, um, and, uh, and all of them, you know, charismatic and determined, you know, and exciting actors to watch and be around. Aaron Paul, I mean, I mean, he's great, and uh, and he's, I mean, constantly been pulling out these great turns, and 
And so now with this, again, the kind of opportunity to play this sort of maverick, this kind of guy that's kind of a little bit off the wall, hard to pin down. And he really embraces all of that and really, really relishes it. He has that kind of calmness to him, Anthony, you know, and a, and a, and a jovial um, sense of the world, you know, which, uh, which is just above this kind of very steely, very serious kind of energy, this very kind of uh, very determined working energy. And I, you know, I really admire that, actually. And he really brings that also into, into the role. And he can have that sort of duality, which I find exciting and almost mercurial somehow. And so him playing Franco is just, you know, just perfect, you know, this kind of, you know, this sort of totally morally compromised cop, you know, who, um, who just doesn't have a sort of, uh, even a shaft of light, you know, whereas in the, ha in the hands of Clifton is this deeply kind of complex guy that you feel a huge amount of emotion for, that you're kind of, um, that you're, you're right with him every step of the way. It's the emotional twists and turns of the film that really got me. You know that the uh, that you don't that you're supporting one character for a moment and then it twists around and you're in somebody else's pocket and you're feeling different things about different people all the way through the journey and uh, and you realize that actually what you've been looking at is a very complex system. 